Welcome to the ITIL4 Information Security Management Practice e-learning from One World Training. We would like to thank you for choosing us for your learning needs. We also wish to thank Axelos and PeopleCert as we have used their guidance in this course. About One World Training, we are a global training, business simulation and training company. We have offices in several countries such as the USA, the UK, the Netherlands, India, Malaysia, United Arab Emirates, South Africa, and many other countries globally. We provide training in several areas such as IT, business management, project management, ISO standards, GDPR, and many other topics for individuals as well as organizations. One World Training delivers courses in five different ways. It can be public classroom based. It can be online from your home or from work. It can be e-learning, that is self-learning or it can be a mix of e-learning along with support whenever you need it, or it can be at the user's location for private and government organizations. We are authorized and endorsed by leading global professional bodies. On this slide towards the bottom, you can see a lot of those logos of those bodies that have endorsed us and also some of the courses that we offer. Let me explain the nature of the exam. You will obtain the certificate when you pass this exam, the Information Security Management Practice Certification Exam. It's got a specific syllabus that I will show you briefly. You will have access to the exam syllabus, the two official sample papers, and their answers as well in the PDF formats and also in online simulation exam formats. The exam is for 30 minutes, so it's a short exam. If you are writing the exam in a language which is different from your spoken language as identified by your profile, by the exam body, people cert that is, then you get 25% additional time and that makes it 38 minutes total. There will be 20 multiple choice questions in the exam, one mark allocated for each question. You need to obtain at least 13 to pass the exam. So which is 65 percentage. There are three types of questions. The standard multiple choice question. You can also have a negative, meaning it will be a question such as which of the below option is not correct or is not a definition of something. And as I said before, there is no negative marking. A list question means there'll be very few of the list and even the negative ones. A list question means that you will have to pick two correct options and then the combination of those two from the four will give you the correct answer. It's a closed book exam. It's an online proctored exam. The nature exam is, it'll test you at two levels of the Bloom's taxonomy of learning and testing, level two and level three only. This slide shows you that level one is the memory recall type of questions. So there won't be any kind of memory recall questions. The questions will be at least from the understanding level, which is two here towards the bottom of the pyramid. And then as we go up level three is application of the concepts. There won't be any level four, which is analysis questions or anything above that level. So usually it is the level three questions that could be slightly more challenging than the level three understanding questions. Let me show you the exam syllabus that you will have access to. So I have this in the PDF format. You will be made available all this in your e-learning access. So this is the official syllabus for the exam. And it's, as I take you through this briefly, and you can always study it on your own afterwards, it gives you the same information that I just explained to you in terms of the duration and other things there. But, and it also explains to you the different types of questions here. So most of the questions are the ones uh, that you see the standard objective type. So you see them here. And then uh, you have sometimes the missing word question as well, but you won't see any of the missing word questions generally, very rare. And you have the list type. So you have got the four options here and you need to pick two of them and select the answer from the correct combination of the two uh, from the below choices, A, B, C, and D. And then the negative one, as I explained, is shown here towards the bottom right. Then there's 
the actual syllabus. So there are various learning outcomes here. So number one is the key concepts of the practice. Our courseware is built on the same sequence. So you will see different modules or different sections. The section number one, after the introduction to this course, uh, that is the next recording that is would be learning outcome number one, where we will take you through these uh, 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3 assessment criteria of the exam syllabus. You can also see the nature of the questions are also indicated. These are all Bloom's level two type of questions. And also you can see last call of the marks, which means you will have five questions from the learning outcome one, which means learning outcome one is, is important. Five out of the 20 questions are from here. As I scroll down a little bit more, you see the second one is the processes of the practice. There are four processes in this practice and you can see that five marks are, have been allocated here as well for uh, the processes and they are all uh, Bloom's level two as well as three. There are a few application questions as well here, as you can see here. And then, uh, then we have the roles and competencies, which is number three in the syllabus. So you can go through this on your own rather than me explaining to you. And, but briefly showing you that we have got the learning outcome four, then we got the learning outcome five, six, and seven. Not to worry about these topics, uh, I'll be showing you the agenda for this whole courseware. And then uh, also let you know that we also have the, the PDF of the sample paper in your e-learning access. And uh, I would like to show that to you as well. Just a question or two there. You see the, the nature of the question. This is number one at the top, then it is, you got number two and then number three and so on. And then we also have um, the answers. Uh, you should try these on your own. Uh, in fact, we will also have recordings for each sample paper and uh, you can go through those recordings for your good understanding or you can try them on your own, whichever you like to do. And uh, here are the answers. Uh, so you got the answers and the correct explanations, uh, etc. So take a look at these as well. However, in our recording for the sample papers, I will be explaining, uh, I will take you through all those 20 questions from both sample papers. And as I said before, we also have the online simulation for each of those two sample papers, um, which means the timer would be running, which is good for you to practice with the timer running. And then you can attempt all those questions within those 30 minutes and see how you score. And uh, the entire courseware is based on the official the practice guide from uh, People's Sword and Axelos, which is called the ITIL 4 Information Security Management Practice Guide. I have opened this in my bookshelf app. Uh, we also have a separate recording explaining to you how to book your exam and also how to arrange access to this book in your bookshelf app. Uh, we have a single recording for that. Um, and you can do all that using your exam voucher that we have supplied you. We also have another recording that is... Um, because these certifications expire within three years, you need to either write them again after three years or you can renew them without rewriting them. And we also have another recording explaining to you how you can retain your certifications without having to rewrite the exam once again after three years. So make sure uh, you reach out to us in case you're not finding anything uh, because some of those recordings are general uh, available for most of the ITIL exams. So it may not be available in your specific information security e-learning access. Do reach out to us. We have everything that you need for you to succeed in the exam.